All right, non-resident training course, uh, Navy Electricity Electronic Training Series, Module 5, Introductions to Generators and Motors, Navy Tri 14177, a distribution statement, proof or public release distribution unlimited. Chapter 1, Direct Current Generators. Chapter 2, Direct Current Motors. Chapter 3, Alternator Current Generators. Chapter 4, Alternator Current Motors. Glossary and Index. Throughout the text of this course, we'll be using the technical manuals associated with equipment. While we will be working with you, will find below the notations and some of the paragraph notations you will use to emphasize that safety has exists and care must be taken and observed. Warning: An operating procedure or practice, common condition, etc., which may result in injury or death, may not, um, if not carefully observed, or followed. Caution: Any operation, practice, or condition, etc., which may be followed and result in damage, if not carefully observed and followed. No, any operation, procedure, or condition, etc., which is essential to emphasize. All right, Chapter 1, Direct Current Generators, Learning Objectives. See the completion of the chapter will be able to state the principle of the generators, convert the mechanical energy to electrical energy, state the rule of the apply with the determine the direction of the induce the EMF um, in the coil, start the purpose of the, state the purpose of the slip ring, state the reason for the no EMF is induced for the rotating coil as it passes the neutral plane, state whether the components of the generators produce the direct current rather than alternating current, and then for the point with the rush contact should change one communicator segment to the next, state how field strength can be varied by in a DC generator, describe the cause of the spark of sparking between the brushes of the communicator, 9, state the is when is meant by the armature reaction, state 10, um, 10, state the purpose of the inner pool, state 11, um, 11, state the effect of, uh, explain the effect of the motor reaction in the DC generator, 12, explain the cause of the armature losses, 13, list the type of the main arm armatures used in DC generators, 14, state the three classifications of DC generators, 15, state the term and apply with the voltage variation with, from no load to full load conditions, how it is expressed and as a percentage, 16, state the term that describes the use of the two or more generators as, as a supply on a common load. State, 17, state the proof of the DC generator that has modified with its function as an amplodyne. Introduction, generators is a machine that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy by using the principle of magnetic induction. The principle is explained as follows. Whenever the conductor is moved the magnetic field in such a way that the conductor cuts across magnetic lines of flux, voltage is generated in the conductor. The amount of the voltage depends on the one, the strength of the magnetic field, two, the angle to which the conductor causes the magnetic field, and three, the speed of which the conductor is moved, and four, the length of the conductor of the magnetic field. Um, the polarity of the voltage depends on the direction of the magnetic line of flux and the direction of the movement of the conductor determine the direction of the current is given the situation with the left hand rule of the ge for the generators. This rule is explained in the following manner. Each extend, extend the thumb, forefinger, and the middle finger of the left hand of the right at right angles to one another. Shown in figure 1, one point your thumb in the direction conductor is to be moved, point your forefinger in the direction of the magnetic flux in north or south. Your middle finger will then point to the direction where the current flows in an external circuit in which the voltage is applied. So you have the current and then you have your index finger on flux going in the main finger and motion of the conductor is your thumb. Um, the simplest explanatory generator can be built as an AC generator, but basic generator principle is the most easily explained for using the elementary AC generator. For this reason, the AC generator will be discussed first. The DC generator will be discussed later. The element, elementary generator consists of the wire loop lay, um, placed in that with a corroded with the stationary magnetic field to produce the induced EMF of the loop and the sliding contacts brushes. Brushes can um, connect with the loop, the external circuit load, in, in order to pick up the use induced EMF. All right, so you have your one, two, show the elementary generator, show the brushes, the slip rings, um, armature loop, the load external circuit, and the pole pieces. The pole pieces um, marked north and south provide the magnetic field, but the, the pole, purpose, pole pieces are shaped. The pole position is shown with the concentric of the magnetic field that is close to the, the, the wire loop. The loop with which rotates through the field is called the armature. The ends of the armature loop is connected with the rings. I'm called the slip ring. The rotate with the armature brushes usually made with the carbon will be wire, over the wires attached to them right against the rings. Generate voltage appears across the brushes. The elementary generator produces voltage in the following manner. Figure 1, 3 for the armature loop of the rotate with the clockwise direction. The initial starting point shown in the A position. Position A that will be considered a zero degree position. At zero degrees, the armature loop is perpendicular with the magnetic field and the black and white conductors over the loop that are moving parallel in the field. The instant of the conductor moving parallel in the magnetic field, they do not cut any lines of flux. There are no EMF induced for the conductors are in a meter position A and two zero. The position is called the neutral plane armature loop. It rotates zero degrees to the position B, position 90 degrees for the conductor, even through more 
Lines of flux continuing increasing at 90 degrees of the cutting through the maximum number of lines of flux maximum angle. The ver um, result of the angle of the between 0 to 90 degrees the induce EMF in the conductors build up to 0 to maximum value. Observe that the 0 to 90 degrees in the black conductor cuts down through the field. At the same time, the white conductor cuts up through the field. The um, e induced EMF in the conductor is a series adding the means of the result in voltage across the voltage across the brushes and the terminal voltage is the sum of the two induced voltages. The meter at the position B reads the maximum value. If the armature loop between continues rotating 90 degrees to 180 degrees or position B to position C, the conductors were cutting through the maximum number of lines of flux at position B to now cut through and through fewer lines. They were moving the parallel in the magnetic field at position C. No longer the cut of any line flux at our armature go, rotates 90 to 180 degrees. Induced voltage will decrease zero the same number um, and that increase during the rotation zero to nine degrees of the meter reads again uh, reads zero at zero to 180 degrees of the conductors or arm loops have been moving in the same direction with the magnetic field therefore the polarity induced the voltage has remained same. This is shown in points A through C on the graph the loop rotates um, rotates beyond 180 degrees position C to 270 position D. Back to the initial starting point position A the direction of the cutting action with the conductors through the magnetic field reverses. The magnetic cutter cuts up through the field while the white conductor cuts down through the field, and as a result, the polarity-induced voltage reverses the following sequence of group of graphs um, shown by graphs in point C and D and back to A, the voltage in the direction opposite. Shown points A, B, and C, the terminal voltage will be the um, same as the A to C, except that the polarity is reversed as shown in the meter deflection position D. Voltage output waveform, the complete revolutions of the loop is shown in figure 1-3. Shows, uh... A position 0 degrees, B position 90 degrees, B, um, C position 180 degrees, C, D position 260 degrees, and then A position um, uh, 360 position degrees, or general terminal voltage A, B, C, D, um, A. A. All right, the elementary DC generator, a single loop with, um, generated with the internal connection of the segment of the two segment metal ring is shown in figure one four. The segments of the slip um, metal ring are insulated from each other. The forms of the simple communicator, the communicator, and the DC generator replaced with the slip rings of the AC generator. Um, this means the main difference in their construction, the communicator mechanically reverses the armature loop's contacts and connections with the external circuit that's created with the same instant polarity of the voltage and armature loops, um, loop varies and reverses. Through the process of the communicator chain with the generated AC voltage to the pulsating DC voltage shown bigger, um, on the graph of the figure 1-4, the action known as communication. Communication is a description described in detail later in this chapter. So you have position A, position B, and position C, and then position D, and then position A again at 360, A, B, C, D, effects of communication. Communication. All right, for the remainder of the discussion, refer to figure 1-4 for the power to A through G. This will help you with the following step of the, and by step of the description and operation of the DC generator. The armature loop is clockwise to point A to point position B. Um, the voltage indicated by the armature loop which covers the current within the direction of the deflect with the meter right with the current flow through the loop, one out of the negative brush through the meter and the load, back through the positive brush through the loop, which reaches the maximum value of the point B on the graph. The reason explained earlier, um, the generator voltage of the current flows and falls to zero at the position C. At this instant, each brush makes a contact with the both of the segments with the communicator. As the armature loop rotates in position D, the voltage again induced into the loop is in this case, however, the voltage's opposite polarity. The voltage is induced in the two sides of the coil position D in the reverse direction in that the voltage is shown in position B now that the current is flowing through the black side black backs black sides to the white side in the position B from the white side to the black side in position D. However, the black because the segments of the communicator rotate the loop and they are connected with the opposite brushes, the direction of the current through low through the brushes and meters remain the same as the position B, but the voltage develops across the brushes, pulsating undirectional in one, only one direction. It varies twice during each revolution between zero and maximum. The variation is called the ripple. A pulsating voltage such as produced in the preceding description is suitable for the most application. There are critical generators, more more armature loops, coils, the more common communicator segments used to produce output voltage waveforms with less ripples. All right, effects of adding additional coils and poles. Effect of additional coils may be illustrated with addition of the second coil to the armature of the common communicator must now be divided in four parts for the sense of the four coils and the coils are rotated clockwise and from the position shown the voltage induced with the white coil to creep from the next 90 degrees rotation from the maximum zero. The voltage is due for the black coil and crew for the zero to the maximum at the same time since the four segments and the communicator next segment they pass with each brush and get 90 degrees instead of 180 degrees to allow the brush and switch of the white coil with the black coil. Instant voltage of the two coils are equal to the brush and remains in contact with the black coil is due for the voltage reached at the maximum 
Increase it to a maximum level B in the graph. It is described at level A 90 degrees later. At this point, brush will con contact the coil again, um, white coil again. So you have your communicator, two, co um, two coil armature poles, and pieces generated terminal arbitral voltage um, for effects of additional cultures from uh, A and B, 45 and 90 degrees. Um, the graph of figure 1-5 shows the ripple effect of the voltage of the two armature coil within some of there are no there are now four communicator segments for the communicator only two brushes of the voltage kind cannot fall any with lower part than point a therefore the ripple is limited into the rise and fall between the points a and b on the graph that by adding the armature coil with the ripple can either be further reduced or increasing the ripple will increase the effective voltage output Note the effective voltage um, is a equivalent level of DC voltage, which causes the same average current through the ribbon resistance. But, but by using an additional armature coil, the voltage across the brushes are not allowed to fall as low as level between the piece. Common graphs are shown in Figure One, Four, and One Five. Notice that the ripple has been replaced. Um, the practical generators are many uh, armature coils. They also have more than one pair of magnetic poles. The additional magnetic poles have the same effect of the ripple as did with the additional armature coils. In addition, the increased number of the poles provide with a stronger magnetic field greater than the number of flux lines. This in turn allows the increase the output voltage because of the coils are cut more lines in flux per revolution. Electromagnetic poles. Nearly all generators are electromagnetic poles instead of the magnet, ma permanent magnet achieved in an or elementary generator. Electromagnetic field poles are extensive if the coils insulated with a copper wire and its off iron cores as shown in figure one six the minimum advantage of the electrical magnetic poles are increased in field strength minimum of the controlling strength of the field by varying in the input with the voltage strength that is varied by varying the field strength and output voltage generator can be controlled all right one six shows a four pole generator with armature um without a four pole generator without armature Communication. Communication is the process by which the DC voltage output is taken from the armature that has an AC voltage induced. You should remember that our discussion on the elementary DC generators that the communicator mechanically reverses armature loop connections to the external circuit that's occurred with the same instant with the voltage polarity that the armature loop reverses. A DC voltage is applied to load because of the output connections are reversed each but the communicator segment passes under the brush. The segments are insulated for each of the other. Figure one seven communication occurs simultaneously with the two so coil over the briefly show, um, short circuited by the brushes. The coil B is short circuited by the negative brushes. Coil Y, the opposite side so coil, is shorted by a positive brush. The, um, the brush is positioned with the communicator so that each of the coils is short circuited and, and the move through the own own electrical neutral plane. As you have seen previously, the no voltage generated in the coil at the time. Therefore, no sparking can occur between the communicator and brush. The sparking between the brush and communicator indicates that improper communication, improper brush placement may cause improper communica communication. So the communication A, B, and C, um, X, Z, X, Y, um, negative and positive in north and south, uh, armature reaction. All right. From previously said, you know that the uh, that all current carrying carrying conductors produce a magnetic field. The magnetic field produced the current in the armature. The DC generator affected with the flux pattern distorts the magnetic field. The distortion causes the shift in the natural plane with the effect of the communication. This changes the natural plane and the reaction of the magnetic field with the armature reaction. When you know the proper communication, communication of the coil short circuited with the brush must be in the field of neutral, I mean the neutral plane. To consider the operation, a simple two pole DC generator shown in figure one eight view A of the figure show the field poles of the magnetic main magnetic field of the armature is shown. In the simplified view of the views B and C with the cross section of the coil represented with the little circles of symbols within these circles represent the arrow, the dot represent with the point of the armature coming toward the cross represent with the tail and farther end of the going away from um, your armature clockwise, clockwise side of the coil is the left of the, having current flowing towards you and indicating the dot the inside of the coil over the right will have the current flowing away from you indicated by cross the field generated the, around each side of the coil shown figure B view B of figure 1 8 field increase with the strength of each of the wire and the armature coil sets up the magnetic field with the almost perpendicular to the main field. Figure 1A shows the magnetic field, the armature coil rotating um, south and the armature field north. Um, so uh, the rotation armature coils and old neutral plane rotation, neutral field, magnetic field resulting from interaction. All right, now you have two fields, the main field, view A, the field armature of the armature coil, view B, view C of the figure 8, 1H over the armature field, distorts the main um, field, and how the neutral plane is shifted direction with the rotation of the brushes remain in old neutral plane, you will short circuit them, um, so coil with the voltage, and due to the consequently, they will be arcing between the brushes and communicator. communicator. 
Compensation winding interpol, shifting the brush with the band's position in the new neutral plane is does not complete solve the problem of armature reaction. Effect of the armature reaction varies with the load current, therefore the each for the time load current varies, the neutral plane shift that means the brush position must be changed each time the load current varies. In small generator, the effect of the armature reaction reduce the actual mechanically shifting of the position of the position of the brush of the race practice of the br shifting of the brushes for each of the variations is not practiced except for the small generators. Larger generators other means are taken to eliminate armature re re reaction compensation windings and interpols are used for this purpose of figure one nine. The compensating windings consist of the series coils embedded in the slides with the whole face of the coils are connected in the series within the armature the series are connected compensating compensating the windows on wind windings between the tooth of the magnetic field but the varies dependently on the armature current. Because of the compensating winds are on to the world um, to the wound um, windings are wounded to produce field of the opposite wound to be and produce field of the opposite of the magnetic field of the armature is tended to cancel the effects of the armature magnetic field of neutral plane will remain stationary with the original position for all value of the armature current because of this of uh, one's brushes have been set correctly that they do not have to be moved again. A figure one notes says uh, compensating windings and interpoles, compensating windings, interpoles, and then your magnetic field to the load. Another way to reduce effective armature reaction is um, just um, place small auxiliary poles in and call the arnish poles between the main fields and the interpoles have the few turns of the large wire and are connected with the series of the armature interpoles are wound placing into each of the interpole with the same magnetic um, polarity main pole the he main pole ahead of the direction rotation field generated by the interpole to reduce the same effect of the compensation winding. This field is in effect with the contents of the armature reaction with the all value of the load with the current causing the shifting the neutral plane opposite with the shift caused by armature reaction. The amount of shift caused by interpoles will equal the shift caused by armature reaction with both shift, since both shifts are of result armature current. All right, motor reaction in the generator. Generator delivers the current to the load. Armature current creates a magnetic force for the up over the rotation of the armature. This is called motor reaction. The symbol are armature conductors. This represents figure 110 view A. When the conductor is stationary, no voltage is generated, no current flows. Therefore, no force acts on the conductor. When the conductor is moving downward, figure 110 view B, the circuit is completed through the external load current and flow through the conductor into the direction indicated to the li setup lines with the flux around the conductor in clockwise direction. So you have north and south pole reaction force field weakened driving action field of strength resistor over and uh, the interaction between the conductor field with the main field with the general weakens the field above the conductor and strength with the fine um, field below the con um, the conductor of the main field that consists of the line of the not the li likely stretch rubber bands upward upward reaction force is produced the action opposition. Opposite downward driving force applied with the armature current with the drive of the conductor increases the reaction force increase Therefore the more force must be applied to the conductor to keep it moving With no armature current there's no magnetic motor reaction Therefore the force required to turn the armature low is, is low the armature current increase the reaction with each of the armature conductor to increase the rotation against the rotation increases the actual force of the generator is multiplied by the number of the conductors and the armature of the driving force is required for the main generator armature speed must be increased to overcome the motor reaction. The force applied to turn the armature must overcome the motor reaction of force of all the in all the DC generator. Therefore, the device produced the turning force of it to apply with the armature is called the primary mover. The primary mover prime mover may be electrical motor, gasoline engine, steam engine, or any other mechanical device that may provide turning force. Your armature loss in DC generators is the most electrical electrical device current to force with a deficiency effect, effectiveness of the forces of the effect for the armature conserve the loss is made to define as follows of the amperage squared times the resistant copper loss and winding adding current loss and core historical source of the log magnetic loss copper loss of the um, power loss in the form um, form of the um, amateur winding of the generator with the copper over the loss that he generated the time current through the conductor copper loss is the amper squared times resistance loss whether the increase of the current or the increase of the amount um, of the heat generated by the apps also proportional to the resistance of the conductor the resistance of the conductor varies directly with the length of the inversely with the cross-sectional area copper loss is minimized by the armature windings using large diameter your eddy current loss of the core of the generator armature is made of soft iron when the conducting material with a desirable magnetic form character of the conductor will have the currents induced into them with a rotate with the magnetic field the currents are also induced in the generator armature core with the eddy current their power is dissipated with the form of the heat the result of the eddy currents are considered lost eddy currents just like the other electrical currents are affected with the resistance of the material with the current flow of the resistance of any material inversely proportional to the cross-section area 
Figure one eleven A shows view A shows the eddy current earns and due to the amateur coil for the solid P for the soft iron. Figure eleven view eleven one eleven view B shows the soft iron core with the same size made with the several smaller pieces insulated each other. The process is called lamination. The currents of each of the piece laminated core are considerably less than uh, in a solid core because of the resistance of the piece and the is much higher. Resistance is inversely proportional to the cross section area. The currents of the individual piece of a laminated core shows some of the individual currents is much less than the total eddy currents of the solid iron core. Shows the eddy currents of the DC generator armature, north south solid core, laminated core. Um, as you can see, the eddy current loss are kept low with the, with the core material is made up of the many thin sh sheets of metal. Lamination of small generator armature may be le as thin as 164 of an inch. Lamination is insul insulated with the, either each other with a thin coat lacquer within some instant of the assembly with the oxidization surface of the oxidation cover the contact with the air while the laminations may be air annealed. The insulation value um, need not to be high because the voltages induced are very small. Or historical hyster hysterious loss. Hysterious loss is heat loss cover the mag magnetic properties of the armature of the armature core of the magnetic field of the magnetic part of the core tend to line up with the magnetic field when the armature core is rotating. The magnetic field keeps the uh, keeping the direction of the direction continues to move the magnetic line particles. As they try to align themselves with the magnetic field produced the molecular friction, this is the friction of heat. Heat is transmitted by the armature winding. Heat cover the armature resistance to increase. Common state hysteria is lost heat treated silicone and steel laminations are used in almost all DC generator armatures. After the steel has been formed in the proper shape, the laminations are heated, allowed to cool the annealing process or reduce the hysteria's loss of value. All right, the practical DC generator. Actual construction operation of the practical DC generator differs somewhat from the other elementary generator. The difference with the construction of the armature is the manner in which the armature is wound and the method of developing a magnetic field. The ground generator has only one or two armature loops that have the heavy, high, as high ripple voltage. The resistance to the little currents of any particular unit to increase the amount of current outlet. I'll put a number of loops of the wire or you the additional loops do away with the, um, with the most of the ripple. The loops of the wires called windings are evenly spaced around the armature so the distance between each winding is the same. The commutator and general practical generator difference in several segments since have the two four uh, elementary, and elementary generator the number of the segment is most equal to the number of armature coils. Uh, the Grammy ring armature, the diagram of the Grammy ring armature shown in figure 112, view A, each of the coils connected with two communicator segments as one end of the coil, one goes to um, segment A and the other end of the coil, one goes to segment B. And one end of the coil, two goes to segment C, the other end of two and segment coil, two goes to segment B. The rest of the coils are connected with the liner like manner and series over the, around the armature. The complete series arrangement of coils 8 and coil 8 connect to the segment A. Therefore, each coil in a series with every other coil shows the Grammy ring over um, armature. You have a uh, current in, in neutral plane direction of rotation armature windings. Figure 112 shows the view B shows the composite of the Grammy ring armature that in, uh, illustrates more graphically the physical relation with the coils and current um, location. The winding for the Grammy ring armature are placed with the iron ring and the vis vanes for the arrangement with the windings located with the inner side of the iron ring of the cut view light. The flux, therefore, they're having a little with any vo any voltage and due to that, that with the Grammy ring armature is not widely used. Drum type armature. Your drum type armature shown in figure 1 to 13 is, um, is armature windings placed in the slot cuts and drum sh shaped iron core. Each winding completely surrounds the core with the entire length of the conductor cuts the main generator field, um, main gener magnetic field. Therefore, the total voltage and due to the armature is greater than the Grammy ring. You can see the drum type armature is much the is much more efficient than the Grammy ring. This account for almost all, un all universal use of the drum, drum type armature shown in modern DC generators. Your drum time armature shows the shaft winding, the laminated core, the slots, and the communicator. communicator. Drum type armatures are wound with either two types of the windings, lap winding or wave winding. Lap winding illustrated in figure 14, view A, to the tip of the winding, you the DC generator to sign high current application of the windings, are going to provide several parallel paths for the current in the armature. For this reason, lap winding, lap armature, lap wound armatures using DC, DC generators require subtle repair, um, pairs of poles and brushes. So you have your lap winding, it shows the negative and south, um, pole, um, the position of the field poles armature. Then your um, wave winding showed um, 
north south and then uh figure 114 view b show the wave winding and the drum type armature typically the type of the winding you the dc generator plug with the high voltage application over the two ends of each for the core connect with the communicator segment separated with the distance between the pole of the configuration allow with the series of additional voltages in all windings between brushes type of the windings and only requires only one pair of brushes the particular uh, particular generator may have several pairs to improve the communication all right, your field excitation. Um, the DC voltage applied with the field winding of the DC generating current flow through the winding of the setup with a steady magnetic field called this is called the fixed excitation. The excitation voltage can be reduced, um, produce the generator itself as it can be supplied with outside such sources of battery. The generator that supplies its own um, field excitation is called self excited generator. Self excitation is possible only in the field poles um, of the pieces that have been retained a slight amount of the permanent magnetism or residual magnetism. The generator storing, starting rotating with a weak of the red sigil magnetism causes small voltage and to be generated in the armature, small voltage applied. Field coils causing small field current. Although small field current strength, the magnetic field allows for the armature to generate high voltage, high voltage increase the field strength. And so on, this process continues. Output voltage reaches the reiterated output generator. Classification of generators. The sub there are self excited generators are also according with the type of the um, field condition action. They use the three general types of field connections are series wound, shunt wound, parallel, and compound wound. Compound wound generators are further classified in cumul cumulative compound and differential compound. They are the last, they are these last two classifications are not discussed in this chapter. All right, your series wound generator. The series wound generator shown in figure 115. The field windings are connected in the series with the armature of the current flow over the armature flow over the external circuit and through the field of the windings. The external circuit is connected to the generator is called the load circuit. One fifteen series wound to the load circuit. Um, series armature generator output. Series wound generator usually a low resistance field coil with the of a few turns of the large diameter of the voltage output increase the load circuit. The start of the drawing with the more current under the load current with the condition of the current flow over the load through the generator small the small current with the means of the small magnetic field is set up at the field poles only small voltage induced into the armature of the resistance of the load decrease the load current increase the unit using the condition more current flow through the field increase the magnetic field increase the output voltage series one dc generator has the characteristic output voltage over the load current this is undesirable most application for the reason the type of the generator is rarely used every day in practice the series one generator has provided easy method to induce the subject of the self excited generator your shunt wound generators are likely in one shown in figure 116 the field coils consider the many turns of small wire that connect to the parallel empty with the load on otherwise in other words they connected across the output voltage of the armature so you have your armature shut if your shunt field and generator output the current field of the winding the shunt wheel the shunt shunt wound generators independent with load current the currents of the parallel branches independent each other they such that the um the, the field current therefore the field shrink is not effective the load current the output voltage remains more nearly constant to the vote of the output voltage of the series wound generator actually the the in actual use of the output voltage of the dc shunt wound, um, wound generator varies inversely inversely as the load current varies the output voltage increases the load current increases but the voltage drops across the armature resistance increases amperage equals to the amp, amp or volts equals amps times um times the resistance in um, series of the wound generator output the voltage directly with the load current the shunt wound generator output voltage varies inversely with the load current a combination of the two types of overcome the disadvantage of the both the combination winding is called the compound wound dc generator compound wound generators the compound wound generators are series field um series field windings addition with the shunt field windings as is shown in figure 117 shunt and series windings are wound in the same pole pieces 117 shows the compound wound alternator generator shunt wheel shunt field shield or series winding generator output generator. Um, and the compound wound generator load current increase with the armature voltage increase the adjustment of the shunt wound generator the, gen the color of the voltage with the applied with the shunt field winding around and winding increase the result of the decrease of the magnetic field. The same increase of the load current since it flow through these series of windings again it's called the increase of the magnetic field produced at the winding. A proportional two field for the decrease of the shunt field with the compensated by the increase of the series of the field. The output voltage remains the constant as shown in figure 118, in which they show the voltage characteristic series shunt and compound wound generators. As you can see, the proportion of these effects two field series and shunt the compound wound generator provides a constant output voltage underlying Undering varying load conditions, the actual can, uh, curves are seldom in, in every, every, per, per, ever, um, ever, is, if ever as perfect. So we have, when you have the A, you have your shunt wound DC generator load current, series wound D generator output voltage going down, the load compound wound DC generator output load current staying flat. Um, 
All right, your generator construction figure 119 view A and through E with the show of the components of the parts of the DC generator figure 120 show of the entire generator um, with the components parts installed of the cutaway drawings help the away, um, helps you to see the physical correlation with the components of each other. Right, you have meta magnetic circuit with the A2 poles um, A, um, teeth armature air gap, leakage flux, frame pole face, field winding cores. Um, Part D, show the field windings and pole pieces, the coals, field windings, leads, pole paces, leads. C, show the armature, communicator, 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 riser, armature coils, armature coil. Um, D, show the communicator instruction, ring, riser, mecha, and Justin 4V ring slot with the coil leads and communicator sleeve and this copper segment. E, show a typical pigtail brush and holder adjustment for the spring tension brush, brush holder, and pigtail and spring brush for ring brush pressure. Uh, figure 120 shows the DC generator cut all the way uh, cut away diagram show the end bell bearing out cap air outlet brush in insulator communicator brush stud main field coil armature coil armature core main coil piece terminal box frame and end bell all right your voltage regulation regulation um, generated with refers to the voltage chain that takes place with the load the chain that usually expressed in the full and change of the voltage and all load condition fully load condition expressed with the percentage of the whole load this expressed in the following formula percentage of the regulation is equal to the number times the um number the, the voltage no load terminal um event minus the voltage full load terminal time over the voltage full load terminal times 100. The voltage no load terminal and the voltage full load um, terminal voltage over the generator, for example, the calculates percent of regulation generated no load voltage 462, full load voltage 440, no load voltage 462, full load voltage 440. Solution is 462 volts minus 440 volts times 100 is uh, 22 volts over 440 volts or a half amp, um, or no, 500 of an amp times 100 would give you a regulation of 5%. Note that the lower the percent regulation, the better the percent rate. And above the example, the 5% regulation is represented with a 22 volt chain to no load to the full, and from no load to full load. And a 1% change would, would represent a change of 4.4 volts with the curve, of the, um, which, which of course would be better. All right, your voltage control. Voltage control is either manual, automatic, in most cases, the process involves changing the resistance of the field current with the bad chain of the field circuit. Resistance the field current is controlled with the controlling field current permits of the control of the output voltage. Major difference between the various voltage control systems is merely mount, mount method of field with the circuit. Resistance of the current is controlled. Voltage regulation should not be confused with the voltage control described. The previous voltage regulations internal action are occurring in the generator where as the load with the chain of voltage controls are imposed to add action. Usually external adjustment, the purpose of the increasing and decreasing terminal voltage. Manual voltage control, hand operative field with the real stats shown figure 121. Typical example of the manual voltage control with the real behind the real stats connected with the shear with the shunt field circuit that provides the simplest method of controlling the terminal voltage of the DC generator. All right, figure on 121 shows the hand operative real stat. This is the lower end of the raise in the real stat, the armature field coiling uh, or voltmeter. Um, All right, the type of the real stack contained with the tape, the resistor, which leave with the multi terminal switch armature, um, switch may be um, rotated to make contact with the various resistor strips and tap the, uh, the various amount with the resistance field current with the raising with the arm in the direction of the lower arrow with the counterclockwise increase the resistance the lower end of the output voltage rotating arm direction of the raised arrow and clockwise decrease the resistance increase the output voltage. All right, most field real stats, real stats of the generator, even the real stats allow the wire there to have the specific resistance low temperature coefficients. These allow the unit to include the copper, nickel, magnesium, chromium, and they are marked with under, under the trade numbers of the nickel, nickel, advanced, magnesium, magnesium, and so forth. So very large generators are cast iron grids, the place real stats, motor, operator switch mechanism to provide voltage control. <coughs> All right, automatic voltage control. Automatic voltage control may be used with the, where the, when the load of the current varies. You can see with the ability, ability, um, built, built in ability of the generator to regulate itself. Automatic voltage control device is sensed to the chain of the output voltage called the chain of the field resistance to keep the output voltage constant. The actual circuit involved with the automatic voltage control will not be covered in the shaft, whichever the con control method is used. And the range over the voltage can be chained within the design characteristics of the generator. The voltage can be controlled only but within design limits. 
All right, your parallel operation generators. The two or more generators are supplying common load. They are said to be operating in parallel. The purpose of the connecting generator symbol in parallel is simple to provide more current for the simple generator capable of providing the generators or more. may be physically located quite different parts of the however they are connected with the common load through the power distribution system. There are several uh, reasons for the operating generators in parallel. The number of the generators used is made to be selected within the current load demand operating with each of the generators is nearly possible with the rated maximum maximum efficiency is achieved. The disabled faulty generator is made um, may be taken offline with a replacement for the interrupting normal operations. Amplodynes. Amplodynes is a special purpose of the DC generator. They are so, and they supply a large DC currents that previously controlled the large DC margin to drive, drive heavy physical loads such as gun turns and missile launchers. Ampodynes is really a motor and a generator. Consider the constant speed of the AC motor of the prime motor, the mechanically coupled to the DC generator, which is wired to the function of high gain amplifier divider with an amplifier's device, which is a small input voltage can control a large current source. For instance, and a normal DC generator, small DC voltage supply of the field windings is able to control the output of the generator. Typical generators change the voltage from 0 volts to 3 volts. DC applied to the field of the winding may cause the generator output from, from, vary from 0 volts to 300 volt DC. If, the vo if there is 3 volts applied to the field winding, consider the input um, and the 300 volts taken with the brushes in the output. There is in a single gain of 100. The gain is expressed as the ratio and output. The gain is equal to output over input. In this case, th um, 300 volts times 300, um, 3 volts divided by 3 volts is 100. This means 3 volts the output with 100 times larger than the input. Um, the following paragraph explains how to gain the achieve the typical DC generator, how the modification generator amplifying increases the gain as, a, as high as 110,000. Schematic diagram figure 122 shows the schematic um, separated excited DC generator because of the 10 volt controlling voltage, 10 amps occurring through will flow through the one ohm field winding. There, this draws 100 watts input power or power times amps times volts. Rotation load of 100 watt, 10,000 watts or 115 volts armature flux. The 10 volt DC field winding control field of 100 watts field flux. Or to assume the characteristics of the generator enabled to produce the approximately 87 amperes of the armature of the 115 volts of the output terminals represent the output power of the approximately 10,000 watts or power is equal to amperes times volts. You can see the power gain of the generator is 100, effective 100 watts controls 10,000 watts. The ampodyne is a special type of the DC generator. Following the chamber, the explanation person will convert the type of the DC generator above the, its ampodyne. First step, do short the brushes together, as shown in figure 123, with this removed and nearly all the resistance of the armature. 123 shows the brushes. So shorted in the DC generator, a small field um, of one watt shorting of the wire rotation, maximum current, large armature and flux, one volt DC. Because the very low resistance armature current is concerned, the much as lower control of fuel flux can produce the full load armature with the full load current. The armature is still between about 87% and the smaller amount. Field now requires current voltage of one volt, but the input will power one watt voltage across one arm and causes one amp current, which produces the one watt of the input power. All right, the next step is to add into another set of brushes that now become the output brush with the amplifier and place it against the communicator in position with the perfectly equal with the original brushes shown in figure 124. Previously shortened brushes are now called quadratur quarter quadratio quad ratio brushes. These are because of the quadratio perpendicular output brush. The output brushes are in line with the armature flux, therefore the pickup of the voltage and due to the armature windings at this point voltage output will be the same as the original generator figure 115 in our example. Figure 124 shows the amplitude light load brushes, the short circuit load axis brush added armature flakes brush added 115 volts control field watt 1. As you have seen in the original generator produced with a 10,000 watt output with a, with a 100 watt input, the amplitude produces 10,000 watt output with only 1 watt input. The representative of the game of the 10,000 of the general original generator has been greatly increased. As previously stated, the amplitude is used to provide large DC power. Occur the previous use of the amplitude is positioned in heavy load with the use of the synchro, um, synchro or servo surface. The synchro and servo systems will be studied in a later module. Assume very large turning forces required to rotate in heavy objects such as an, an antenna or two in a very position, um, precise position, lower point, relatively weak voltage, representing the amount of the antenna rotation required that can be used to contain field winding amplitude because of the amplitude's ability to amplify, uh, amplify its output can be used to drive uh, a powerful motor that which turns the heavy object antenna when the source of the input voltage is sent to the current movement of the object that may drop the voltage to zero. This field is no longer strong enough to allow the output voltage to be developed so the motor ceases to drive in the object with the antenna. 
The above oversimplification is not meant to describe functioning system. The intent is to show the typical sequence of the events between the demand and the movement of the movement itself, and is meant with the strength of the idea of the amplitude. Strength of something larger or heavier can be controlled very precisely. Something very small, almost insignificant. All right, safety precautions. You must always observe safety precautions when working around electrical equipment to avoid internal injury to the personnel uh, and damage of the equipment. Electrical equipment frequently has accessories that require a separate source of power, lighting fixtures, heaters, and externally powered temperature detectors, alarm systems, like examples of accessory with terminals must be de-energized. When working on DC generators, you must check to ensure that all cir circuits have been de-energized tagged before you attempt the maintenance of the repair work. You must also use the greatest care when working on or near the output terminals of the DC generator. Chapter 1, Summary.